Hello everyone, this is the Types and Views tutorial section and we are going to show you how to turn your WordPress installation into a very powerful content management system. First off, what are Types and Views? These are two plugins that would help you to create custom post types and list them everywhere on your website with zero technical knowledge. No programming is required here. Both plugins are available on wp-types.com and they are created by the On The Go Systems company. You can check the company website here on ondegosystems.com and you can see what kind of plugins and content is provided by this company which is the solo owner of both plugins. However, uh, Types is also a free plugin that you can get from WordPress.org website and you can download absolutely free within your WordPress installation. So let's see what these plugins are capable of doing. Now we have a plain new WordPress installation with the Types plugin installed. As we know, WordPress is capable of providing two types of content by default. These are the posts and the pages. Most WordPress installs, however, require other post types such as real estate or products. And what could we do to create some kind of product post type within our installation? WordPress provides the custom post type, which is a way to create post types other than post and page within your installation. However, this requires some coding skills unless you use the types plugin. Once installed, you see the types menu here. There are several submenus that are visible here and we're going to navigate to custom types and taxonomies. Here we could add a custom post type clicking the first button here. Clicking the button, we are asked to create our new post type. Let's say we want to create a very simple product catalog, so we are going to create our products. First off, we need the plural name, which is our products. Then we have the singular name, which is product. And then the slug, which is the short name visible in the URL section later. Let's click on product here. We might add some product description. And then we can set some other options. By default, this is enough for your type. However, let's see some of the features that we might select. We might check the visibility here. We could select some taxonomies, such as the categories or tags, or as we'll see in the next section, we can create our taxonomies as well. There are some label changes, if you'd like to change the default labels provided by WordPress. And we could also select the display sections visible on your website. Title and editor are by default selected. We might enable the comment section, the trackbacks, or some other features here. One of the valuable things that you might probably add in your installation is the thumbnail, which allows you to upload a featured image if needed. So when we are ready with the changes here for our post type, you can review them by yourself. We can save the custom post type. In the end, we end with a product, which is a specific post type available and visible on the left. If we click on the products, we are about to see a standard listing similar to the one that you have for posts and pages. The difference is that now we can create products on our own. If you click Add New, we will be able to create a new product, let's say just a sample product, and we might also add some content here for our product content. We have no other data available yet. We didn't select any taxonomy, we didn't also select the featured image or other section, but still, we can publish that and we can click on view post to see our sample product. That's what we got so far. If you want a more appealing URL section, we could go to settings and permalinks, which is part of the default WordPress installation. We could click post name or some other permalink section. We could click on save changes and when we refresh our page, we could get the sample product. It is also available from another URL. So let's go back to the products. This is our new product here. And once we click view, we'll see our new product with a product prefix. This is the product creation section. Now we have a custom post type. And in the next video, we'll see how to create a custom taxonomy.